folding back one layer and then you have two of these corners done. Now we want to get some paper right here so that it's in the outside. So if you want to look at the back, this paper needs to be unsunk. So open up, you see this point, it's right here and you push there upwards so that instead of it being inside it's in the outside. So push through and once it's relatively unsunk straighten out the folds like so. So this is before you have this area of paper in the inside right here and then it's in the outside. So again open up and push on this point in this um, inside from the back. Push like so and then push further until it flips around then open up the layers a bit so that you can make a straight fold like so. Straighten out in the inside too and then the model lies flat again. Now take this bottom tip and bring it up to that point, making a pre-creasing, like so. Same thing on the other side, like so. Unfold and then make mountain folds, bringing the paper inside the model. Same thing on the other side. Make into mountain folds, bringing the paper inside the model. Like so. Now you have something that looks somewhat like a heart. Next, next we're going to bring this point over to that point. Just lifting a single layer of paper and folding across, like so, making a crease right there and on the other side. Then unfold again and now make this a mountain fold, bringing this paper inside, like so. Same thing on the other side. First bring the tip to that point, making a crease and now all of this area is going to be hidden inside so that you get this result. So you make this crease into a mountain fold and push the paper inside like so. Then rotate the model a bit and now we're going to have a valley fold along this horizontal crease, a mountain fold along this diagonal crease and a valley fold along this horizontal crease we're going to create. So a valley fold, a mountain fold, and then bringing in this side, create 
a crease. Bringing this tip to that point. And this whole edge aligns the center. Make a crease there. Same thing on the other side. Valley fold, mountain fold, then bring in the side and create a nice crease right there. Now fold down this triangle, fold down that triangle, and we're going to start creating another leaf on each side. For this we're going to bring this edge down to that edge, thus creating a crease right here. So bring down this edge so it aligns with the center and then make a new crease right there, like so. Same thing on the other side. Bring down the triangle up to the center and then make a new crease right there. Now let's go close up to this area. We're going to take this edge and fold it down to that edge. Rotating a bit. Like so. And make a strong crease. Unfold and then inside reverse fold as if you were doing a petal fold, bringing the paper inside, like so. Do the same thing on the other side. like so. Then take one layer and fold it downwards. You can see there's another leaf. Same thing on the other side. Now let's do the final two leaves. For this first take this edge right here and fold it along an existing crease there, upwards. And then open the flap and squash fold. Like so. Make a sharp crease. Same thing on the other side. Go along an existing crease, open the flap, like so and squash fold. And make a crease. I have to straighten some paper here so that we don't have any white paper showing. Like so. Now Let's zoom in on this area. We will now take this small edge and fold it to that crease. Turning the paper a bit and folding over, making a crease. Same thing with that edge. Folding over, making a nice sharp crease right there. Unfold and then make inside reverse folds.